Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 17 of the Vegan Weight Watchers Challenge. So, aren't those cute? No, it's not snowing in Texas at all, but um, it matches my shirt, which we are having Christmas number one today. So, my husband, uh, my husband, my daughter and her husband are here, and um, my husband's here too. He doesn't go anywhere. Um, so, they are going to celebrate Christmas with my parents and us, and it's just going to be a small gathering and gift exchange type thing but we're going to have I've got so much to do so I'm making for lunch so we're gonna have lunch open a few presents and visit and then have supper and so for lunch I am making a vegan beer cheese soup that is totally not Weight Watcher friendly I'm not going to eat any of it I'm going to make a uh, meatless stuffed pepper soup, which I have made for you guys before. If you haven't made it yet, you totally should because it's really good. Um, and that one will have some oat groats in it, which means that it will have some points in it, but everything else in there is a vegetable. Um, and then for lunch, we're also having a veggie tray, which I just bought a veggie tray and some tomatoes, like little baby tomatoes that I bought. And then also um, a fruit tray. So that's going to have um, two different uh, green uh, green grapes, red grapes, blueberries, and I think maybe oranges. I think that's those are the fruits that I bought to put on there. Um, and then, and then, I know this part's not healthy at all, and it's not vegan, but I'm not eating it either. Um, some little beef smokies and barbecue sauce. Um, that's going to be the one thing that'll be on the counter that's not vegan. Um, I'm also putting out some uh, guacamole and some Miyoko Shinner has some different cheese spreads and I bought one that is just, I don't remember what it is, but anyway, it's a vegan cheese spread um, and I thought I would put some crackers out and that kind of thing with that. So that's going to be lunch and then for supper, which I've not started any of that yet, plus I have to make boy friendly food, so I'm going to make them a, um, like a cabbage, a cream based, which is soy milk, but cream based um, cabbage potato soup, which they, they love. So I'm going to make that for them. And then um, I'm going to have Preston make, is it called bumps on a log? Anyways, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But it's when you take celery and you put peanut butter down it. And anyway, they use soy butter. Um, and I'll have him put soy butter down it. And then put a couple little chocolate chips on there because he can't have raisins. So it works totally well. Um, so he's going to make some of those for their appetizer. And, um, Oh, I need to make them fruit too, so I'll cut up some Asian pears because that's something they really like. And I buy at the Asian grocery store lychees. If you guys don't know what a lychee is, it's worth trying. Um, Owen loves them. And a couple other people in my family tolerate them. And then some people really don't like them. Um, so it's like this little round fruit, and it's kind of hard on the outside, but you eat it when it's still red or red-ish. Like this color red. Not like red red, but like funky weird off red. Um, well, like a pinky red, and it, it's, you cut the skin off, just very, very carefully, you cut the skin off, and then there's white fleshy stuff inside, and inside of that there's a pit. So you cut the little wet, white fleshy stuff and take the pit out, or just stick the whole thing in your mouth and chew it and spit the pit back out, however that works for you. Um, but they have them in a can, and you can't get them at this time of year anyway, and Owen loves them. So I will probably put them, uh, put a small bowl of those out just for him, because he will really, really like that. So, that's lunch, and supper is going to be, um, again, not completely vegan, because I've got a bunch of not vegan people in my house, um, which is totally fine, but I'm going to make some salmon that has, um, the sauce that goes on that is, it's one to one to one, um, miso and maple syrup, and I used to make it one to one to one, miso, maple syrup, and rice, rice vinegar. Um, and my kids, I forgot the rice vinegar one time and put water in instead. I don't know what I was thinking. And the kids much prefer it that way. Um, but that is a really, really good base for tofu as well. So I'm going to get some of those little blocks of tofu out and slice them in half. And then um, bake some of that with that on it as well. Because there's four of us that are fully vegan um, in the house that will appreciate that. So that. And then i um, going to make some brownies from um, Chocolate Covered Katie, which those I need to get started right away because they're supposed to sit in the refrigerator overnight. But I'm going to do those and they're where you, you mix in peanut butter. Um, I'm not going to end up eating those because I can't imagine how many points are in there. Um, 
I bought last night on my way home from getting my hair done, I bought um, some, I stopped at a, it's called Mary's Mediterranean, it's a Greek restaurant, and I bought some rice that has mixed vegetables in it and um, cranberries, and it is the most divine food you could ever imagine. It is delicious. So I bought a big container of that, so that's gonna be like the side dish um, to the salmon, and my mom is bringing over salad. And I know you guys have probably seen videos, or at least a picture of the sa I mean, my kitchen is pretty big, the salad goes all the way down the counter, like all the way from one end to the other. <laughs> so there's just everything you could want to put on a salad is here to put on a salad. Um, so we're going to have that and hang on. Let's see. Um, yeah, nope, that's it. That's the rest of the food. I mean, that's plenty. That's a lot of food. So anyways, um, it's not like there's that much of us. There's seven, nine, ten. There's ten of us total. So I mean, that's pretty good. Um, but anyways, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna go start the beer cheese soup because it has potatoes that go in the crock pot and those need to cook for a while. So that's what I'm gonna get started on. And then I need to make the brownies. So I will definitely touch base with you guys again mm, sometime today. Definitely will take some pictures to let you guys see what it is that I'm making and I'll just intersperse them. Obviously you'll have seen them by now um, when I'm talking about stuff. But otherwise, that's it for me for now. I am going to have for breakfast, I'm going to have the leftover of the um, tofu and, and cabbage casserole thing. There's a one serving left of that, one row left of that, so I'm going to eat that for breakfast because I'm actually kind of hungry, but I'm going, to get the, I'm going to get the soup going first, and then I'm going to get the brownies going, and then I'm going to eat some breakfast. So that's it for me for now, guys, and I will talk to you again sometime this afternoon. All right, guys, so I am sorry that I did not um, film making any food today, but I did do what I said I was going to do in terms of food. The only thing... This morning I got making the soup, and I got making the, um, let's see what I make, the brownies right after that. And I never did end up eating um, until lunchtime, because I just got busy and there just wasn't time. So I just didn't. But I had a wonderful lunch, and the stuffed pepper soup was super awesome. I did not eat any of the beer cheese soup, like I said I wasn't going to, because I just don't even want to try to calculate how many points are in there. Um, but I had probably about six points in um, the oat groats, maybe, maybe five, but five or six, whatever. I did have some guacamole with um, some of my stuff for the vegetables for lunch and things and a few little crackers. So I'm going to say that probably was like, I don't know, I really don't know how many points that was, but maybe even as much as, as five to ten points maybe. Um, and then for supper I had a piece of tofu and I had a salad with a little bit of salad dressing on it and that salad dressing is um, a Dr. Furman recipe that has like cashews and that kind of thing. Um, and then... What else did I have? Oh, I did have a cup of the rice. So overall today, I'm sure I went over my points value for the day, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time I had, um, I would say at least 20 points left over from my weekly points. So I'm not really worried about what I had today in terms of food. Uh, it was delicious. I mean, I had wonderful food. I would really recommend if you guys get pressed tofu to bake it in something. It actually worked out really well. So I had two different types of baked tofu. Um, I marinated one set with the miso maple syrup water combination and another set with, I think it's Annie Chun is what the brand name is, but teriyaki. I didn't have that one, um, but from what I heard from other people that tried it, it was delicious. So that's a, another good option of something that if you're wanting to just have a nice, it's, it's very much after you cook it in the oven at like 350 for not very long, it gets not chewy, but kind of even stiffer than it is. And it's actually really nice because it's got a really great consistency. You actually feel like you're chewing something. So if you miss like cutting a piece of chicken or a piece of steak or something and eating it, that would actually work out pretty well. It's kind of neat. So anyway, I had a really busy day today and I'm really tired. So I'm going to bed now. Um, and tomorrow will be another busy day doing stuff with kids and all that kind of stuff. But I will be hopefully cooking something for you tomorrow. And although we have a ton of leftovers, but I should be cooking tomorrow. So... Yeah, I will get in touch with you guys again tomorrow for something else, and I hope you had a good one.